let's start firstly uh, we'll scan my network which contains the uh, multiple machines by using the discover command minus r and the subnet subnet range we have to specify 24 it shows the live host which are there in my network so i know that uh, the 192.168.0.4 is an android device but to confirm you all i uh, will run the nmap minus o to detect the operating system of that command by nmap minus o ip address 192.168.0.4 uh, while after running that we can see that there is a port open 5555 with service free so we are running and the operating system is linux <coughs> Uh, then we'll uh, install the ADB package for Android uh, ha hacking by using this command apt hyphen get we have and get install ADB uh, yeah, ADB so minus y uh so packet doesn't install because i have to run one more command before running that that is apt hyphen update command so first we'll run that apt hyphen get update enter uh, so it takes few seconds only to complete the process now after completion of this command we'll run the previous command which we have run that is adb sorry and that is apt hyphen install adb minus y so the commands uh, the command is running the package is getting installed now package is installed depending on the speed of an internet so now we'll list the devices first by using adb min, uh, device minus l so we don't see any devices connected it is it usually takes the usb through but we are not connecting usb so we will connect with the ip address that is adb connect ip address the port number uh, so we'll connect through that adb connect 192.168.0.4 that is my android device ip address and the port number now it shows connected to that ip address with that specified port number now we can see that we are connected to the android device and this is the device which is there in my lab environment okay so coming back to Kali, we'll check. Now we'll check how to get the shell access of that. First, we have to run the adb shell command to get the shell access of that Android device. So now we are into it adb hyphen shell. So we are printing working directory, uh, listing the files. Maybe we can see multiple files. We'll move on to the SD card. SD card that is CD SD card. Uh, then in SD card we'll move to downloads thing folder. Then we'll check no folder uh, no uh, no files are there, but we'll create a file by echo a dollar single quote and we'll en enter some random text that is credit card information. It's credit card number some some random number and the pin associated with that card that is pin some random key, key. <coughs> then we'll store it into a secret.txt file now we'll like ls now it is there so if you check the contents of that secret now the content is showing so the question is how we can download this file to our onto the our system that is Kali from this android device mm -hmm. since it doesn't have any command directly from shell we'll come out of that command and come on terminal we'll use this command that is to download a file from android using this adp pull command from specifying the source and destination so we know that the where it is stored so adp pull the file is stored at sd card downloads secret.txt and, and, and i want to store here so i will use dot command so the file has been transferred to my kali machine uh, let me minimize it. It is un okay. So ls minus l to show you the recent details of that secret txt. So it is there. The ls here we can see the secret command and we can get the details in that secret. It can be anything. We can it can be the 
encrypted one we have to decrypt using snow stenography to um, um snow other cryptography tool coming back to android we can see that 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 file is present uh, in the android device uh coming to this cs explorer file storage main uh, main storage then it is stored in downloads and yeah so it is there this is how we can connect and install thanks for watching like share and subscribe